morning guys so today we're gonna hit the road and uh, we're basically gonna be doing a two nights camp or three days in the desert solo I'll be also doing a review of the Snowmaster 42 liter fridge freezer join me now as I head out into the desert and uh, go on a little bit of an adventure Alright guys, so time for the review of the Snowmaster fridge. Let me just pull it out and show you what I'm talking about. So this is my go-to for anything camping. Every time I go out, this bad boy is always loaded in the vehicle. I love my Snowmaster. Now, if you think of you know, when I was when I first started off this whole overlanding camping type of stuff, I would always stick to my general cooler box. And don't get me wrong, the cooler box works amazing. It really does. But if there's anybody out there like me, and I'm sure there's many others that have been there that have converted to an actual fridge freezer, we all believe that the cooler box is sufficient. Stick some dry ice in the cooler box seal it up with some duct tape and put all your food and whatnots in there and it does work it, it definitely does work but the game changer is this right here now i've currently had my first and only fridge freezer that i've used and this is the snowmaster traveler series which is only a 42 liter fridge for me and my wife it's perfect we got enough space for all our cold storage this thing has been absolutely fantastic. Now, to give you some specs about the fridge itself, you can turn the temperature right down to minus 22. Obviously, we, there's no need to do that because you can set it at minus five and it keeps everything chilled and hard, rock hard. In terms of ice, if you stick in some ice in here, that ice remains ice cold all the time without any melt. If there is a bit of a melt, Underneath the fridge freezer itself, there is a drain plug, which you can actually drain, wash out, etc. But honestly, this thing has been incredible. I've had it now for five years, and I've never had one single issue with this fridge freezer. Come summertime, I normally take it out the, out the vehicle, put it in the house, and then come wintertime, just before the camp season starts, I make sure it's running all okay. And generally, I've never had one single issue. I just stick it into the wall socket, put the power in and turn it on and it cranks up perfectly, no issues. When it is at home, before the camp season starts, I generally take it and uh, make sure that I set the temperature down to about minus five and then let it draw power from the house. While it's doing that, it actually freezes all around inside the actual cooler. And when I do put it in the vehicle finally, to actually head out to a camp or a nice spot like this. The fridge freezer is running perfectly and it's not drawing too much power from our batteries in terms of getting cooled down to the right temperature. 
The awesome thing about this fridge freezer is a couple of things. One, if I open it up for you, you can see it's completely stainless steel. Nice and beautiful and it's an awesome finish. I mean, I've had it for five years. I've taken it down to the beach and it's never rusted. This is proper stainless steel. You know, you get those gimmicks where everybody says, hey, this is stainless steel. But in actual fact, after one, one trip to the beach and it's rusted already. But this thing never, has it ever rusted on me, not even once. And it's already, again, as I say, five years. You've got a whole bunch of settings down here where you can set your actual temperature. You can set the speed if you wanted to run it at low or high, high speed. High speed, obviously drawing more power. Low speed, just literally just idling along and just cruising uh, and just keeping everything down to, down to the temperatures that you decided. It also shows you a battery uh, or, or voltmeter, which actually shows you the draw. So when it's on idle, like if I look now, my current idle at the moment is 12.7. And then when it actually draws, it may drop down to 12.3 uh, as it sucks in power. And then it idles again for the next uh, 20 or 30 or 40 minutes, etc. But generally, on, on a drive out to like a place like this, when I park up and I'm actually camping for the night, or even two nights or three nights, if I leave this fridge freezer running all night on low speed, at zero degrees or even at minus five, which I tend to do sometimes. And when I wake up the next morning, it's still ticking. It's not drawing too much power. It's literally, when I wake up in the morning, I would probably see about 12.5, 12.6, if that. It's just amazing, honestly. So when the next morning, generally when I do, what I do, if I'm staying at a campsite for more than one day or more than two days, I'll pull out the solar panels, plumb it all up, and run the fridge directly off the 50 amp hour lithium battery. This thing can kick, keep turning for about three days without any issue. And when it's on the solar power or the solar panels, it, it won't die. I mean, I've got a fridge freezer for a long period of time. But for those guys that are looking for a fridge freezer or a, an option or considering it, or some of you that are doing like a two night camp and you, you're thinking, yeah, I don't need to get a fridge freezer like this, or I'm happy with my cooler box and ice, you know, that's all great. But let me tell you something, when you do decide to change over to a fridge freezer, trust me, it is a game changer. It is life changing. And if you like your camping, you know, these things allow you to stay out there longer. You know, one night's cool, two nights cool. But when you start looking at about a nine day or 10 day trip, and even three days and even two days, this thing is awesome. So check out offgrid.ae. They've got the Snowmaster travel series and all the other ones well. With the, with the Jeep, the space we have in the back here isn't very much. So the 42 liter to me is absolutely sufficient. Now if you see, when I put this back in here, I've still got space on this side over here and this side here, but uh, I haven't had the need yet to go for an upgrade. And it's not a dual, dual compartment. So it literally only has one compartment. But from what I, what I had so far, my personal experience, this has been absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So the other, <clears throat> the other awesome feature that these fridges come with, not only do you get a bag when you purchase it, and this bag is actually insulated as well. So it maintains that temperature nice and low. So the stainless steel does a good job, and then this reflective blanket as well, or the insulation, really just makes sure that that fridge is running cold as possible. The other cool thing is you get one of these which is a remote control, it's wireless, and it charges with the sun, because it's got a little solar panel on it, which is pretty cool. But these basically just give you information about what the fridge is doing in terms of the voltage, how much is it actually drawing, as well as the temperature. And I can set, I can set the speeds and it's actually talking to me, etc. And it tells me 
when things are bad. For instance, if I'm driving and forget to close my fridge freezer, for instance, with this little remote being in the front of the vehicle, I will be able to hear because it sends me a little alarm and it tells me, hey mate, you left the door open, sort your stuff out, go get in the, get in the back of the vehicle and close the lid again. So you'll hear it now. And there we go. Now she is making the noise to say, hey, you've left the door open, sort me out. Another cool feature about the fridge is it comes with two compartments. One being your bigger items and two your smaller items, which all basically comes out. Uh, another cool feature about the Snowmaster is it comes with one of these little bottle openers. Although very small and insignificant, it makes a world of a difference. If you have any bottles, stick it in there and you can pop the lid off and literally the lid falls straight in the little sack here. So if you're one of those tree huggers, you'll love this thing. All right, guys, enough about the Snowmaster. Although I love that piece of equipment, I've got to get breakfast on the go and then head back home. If you've liked the video, just hit a like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification for more videos. I'm hoping to get as much out as possible and actually film for you guys to actually see what I do in my Jeep, which her name is Zulu, by the way. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys around. And if you see me on the tracks, come say how's it, man.